Hello dear friends, welcome in Pharmaceutical Chemistry to Laboratory. Myself, lecturer Mrs. Urmila Ravindra Gauri, MPharm in Quality Assurance. Today we are going to deal with synthesis. Today's practical is experiment number 24. Title of the experiment, to synthesize phenyl benzoate from phenol and to find out its percent practical yield and melting point. Learning Objective after watching this video, student will able to learn intellectual skill, to understand concept of the experiment, to understand the precaution, to plan the experiment, to perform calculation, and motor skill, ability to handle equipment, take and record observation, ability to work according to plan of the experiment, and ability of group working. New concept. Proposition first, esterification. Esterification is the reaction of alcohol or phenol with acid or acid chloride. Reactions of acid chloride with phenol or alcohol are rapid irreversible while with acid it is reversible and slow. The reaction of aromatic acid chloride with alcohol or phenol is carried out using stoughton baumanns reaction. Acid chloride added in portion followed by vigorous shaking to a mixture of hydroxyl compound and base sodium hydroxide or pyridine. Although the function of base is not clear, it seems not only to neutralize the hydrochloric acid that would otherwise be liberated but also to catalyze the reaction. Proposition 2 Synthesis It is a process in which new product with unique structural formula, molecular weight and melting point is produced with chemical reaction. Proposition 3 Purification Purification is the process of removing impurity from the product. Purification of the drug include application of recrystallization, washing and drying the product in oven at a definite temperature for desired period of time. And this is the assembly of Bunsen funnel and flask and it is used for purification purpose. Now proposition for recrystallization. Recrystallization is the process in which compound is dissolved in selected solvent with heated and then cooled slowly to a saturated solution from which the pure compound is crystallized out. Proposition 5. Yield. It is the quantity of the product obtained in a synthesis and they are theoretical yield, practical yield and percent yield. Theoretical yield The weight of the product that one should get based upon the stoichiometric quantity of the reagent and it is assuming 100% completion of the reaction. Practical yield The product, the weight of the product actually obtained after the purification of the product and percentage yield which is calculated from the formula given below Percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100. General concept structure. Here first we have to study theory, then we have to perform synthesis. After synthesis we got a crude product and that crude product we have to purify it by using either filtration and washing or by the use of activated charcoal treatment or by recrystallization. After this we got a yield that means a product and for that product we have to conduct melting point or determine the melting point then apparatus glassware beaker bunsen flask and funnel capillary measuring cylinder stoppered conical flask and thylst tube and the chemicals are phenol benzoyl chloride sodium hydroxide solution 10 percent and alcohol chemical reaction. The synthesis involves esterification or benzoylation reaction. This is the phenol which in presence of benzoyl chloride in gives benzene, phenyl benzoate in presence of 10% sodium hydroxide solution with liberation of salt that is sodium chloride plus water molecule. In this starting product has Molecular weight 94 and the synthesized product that is benzyl benzoate, phenyl benzoate has molecular weight 198. 
Now for actual performance, actual synthesis, we move towards laboratory. Dear student, in our pharmaceutical chemistry tool laboratory. Today we are going to deal with synthesis. Today's practical is to synthesize phenyl benzoate from phenol and find out its a percent practical yield and perform the melting point determination. For that we have to let's start with stepwise procedure for synthesis. For that we require stopper flask. Take two point five mm of phenol. and add 30 ml of sodium hydroxide solution. Now stop out the glass and check it continuously. Now add 4 ml of benzoic chloride solution. Again stop at the plus and Take it vigorously for 15 to 20 minutes. After 15 to 20 minutes, we get white color crystalline powder. Precipitate. Now collect this product on funnel at vacuum pump. This is the Bunsa class and this is the funnel. By using this assembly we have to filter the precipitate, white precipitate. For that we have to start the then add and by using this we have to get the white color precipitate. Hence by using filtration pump we get such a type of white color precipitate. Now, filter, uh, now this uh, precipitate we have to dry at 105 degree Celsius at oven. We have to put it into the oven and dry it at 105 degree Celsius so that we get dried compound. After drying at 60 degree Celsius in oven, we get such a type of white crystalline crop powder. Now we have to wet this water, uh, this powder. We got 3.36 gram of sample. Now we have to determine the melting point of this substance. We have to perform melting point. Now 
melting point of Q1 synthesized product is determined by using melting point determination method after solid particle getting converted into liquid we have to stop the heating and determine the record the melting point okay, now solid particle almost converted into liquid form stop the heating melting point is 78 degree celsius now after performing the synthesis we got some observation amount of phenol taken for the synthesis is 2 gram practical yield of recrystallized product is 3.36 gram and the melting point of the product is 78 degree celsius calculation theoretical yield of the product as from the reaction 94 gram of phenol gives 198 grams of phenyl benzoate therefore 2 gram of phenol will gives 4.21 gram of phenyl benzoate now calculate percent practical yield by using formula percent yield is equal to practical yield divided by theoretical yield into 100 put the value into the formula practical yield is 3.36 gram and theoretical yield is 4.21 gram into 100 that means it gives 79.80 percent result percent yield of benzyl percent yield of phenyl benzoate is 79.80 degrees 80 and the melting point of phenyl benzoate is 78 degrees celsius thank you dear student for attending the practical session thank you